Hello everyone and welcome back to the SMJ Tech channel and I hope everyone has been doing well. And today we'll be covering the function of uh, if formula in Excel. And for that purpose, I have created some data that we'll, we'll be using as our problem statement. So I have invoice information, I have invoice date, I have invoice amount and I want to find out, let's say that which quarter does this invoice belong to and then I can use this information in any way I want. So over here I have already made this formula so let's go over to our working sheet and see how we can create this one. So over here we have the same information and now we'll be working on our if formula over here. So first we'll go into the edit mode. I can add the formula in two ways. Either I can write equals to and then write if and you, you see that Excel will show the probable formulas to use over here. Or I can go over to this fx function and write if over here and the same thing will happen. So let's say I select it over here. And uh, over here, you can see the if formula has three arguments or three parameters that it requires. First is the logical test. Now, this is where we'll be putting our logical condition, the thing that we need to test or check. Second one is the value. So this is where it's asking, so what if the logical test turns out to be true? So which value should I show over here? Now you can uh, select a well, you know, value from any column or cell, or you can specify a static value over here. In our case, we'll be utilizing it uh, through static information. And the third argument or third parameter is the value to show if the logical test is false. So you can see this description over here as well. So it will run a logical test and then decide which thing to show based on whatever information we have given it. All right, so let's get started. You can start uh, adding your logical um, information over here as well, logical criteria, or you can go over to the direct edit mode. I'm more flexible in doing this so I'll use this now first I need to know what's the logical test I need to put in so I need to check the month of the date that is over here for that purpose I'll be using the month function we'll, we'll have this covered in a separate video how the month function works just to easily understand I'll just uh, pick out the month from this cell all right and i'll put an equals to or i want to find out if the month is less than or equal to three so what happens is the months the month value or the month function returns a value of in one two three numbers so this will be my logical test. So I want to check if the month is first, second, or third. If this is if this turns out to be true, then I want to uh, specify that the quarter will be Q1. All right. So. If the months fall between 1, 2, or 3, that means January, February, or March, it will show Q1 over here. And But what happens if it's not? Let's say if it's beyond March. Then I'll put in, I, I can, I, if I only have two conditions, one or two, then I can put the false value directly over here. Otherwise, since we have four quarters, so we need to cover the four conditions. So what I'll do is I'll use utilize the if statement again. So I'll write the if formula again. Now I'll be applying the same condition. 
I'm again checking the month. And now I want to see if it's less than or equal to, if it's less than or equal to uh, 6, right? That will be June. So up till June, it will be counted as Q2. Then again, what if it's beyond June? Then I'll put another if statement here. And I put the same logical condition. So right now I'm applying this formula for one cell and once we drag it down it will apply to all of the corresponding cells that we have. Now I'm checking if it's less than or equal to 9. So we'll add up each each uh, quarter. So I want to specify these invoices belong to quarter 3 and one last quarter left, and that is in case it's belong, it belongs to if the month is if the month of cell A2 is less than or equal to 12, that means it's all the way up to December, then mark it as Q4. All right. Now, if none of these apply, so that would mean just to put down everything else. Let's close out all the brackets. Now you see that it immediately shows Q1. Now I select this cross here, hold it down and drag it to the cells that I want and you can see it gets populated on each one of them. So it's checking out the months over here. So let's cross verify if they're showing correctly. So January, February, March are showing as Q1. Then again we have January, that's quarter one. Then we have December that goes quarter four. April falls into quarter two. Similarly, June, August falls into quarter three. October falls into quarter four. September is Q3. November is Q4. And July is Q3. And this matches the data we have over here. So this is how your if statement works. So you can use if statement for a single condition or you can have nested conditions within if statements. So as many conditions you have, we, you can put it over here and you can specify uh, where to look that information up. So you can either, like, like I said, I have put this as a static value. You can also utilize one of the cells that you can select that in case this value matches, you can select the cell number that, uh, that it, uh, it can pick information from. So this is how you can utilize your if statement or if uh, formula. We'll have more sessions upcoming or videos where I'll be showing another formula that is FS where you have multiple conditions or multiple criteria to check on the if statement. So that will be uh, upcoming and also I'll be covering in my upcoming videos the month function so you understand better how it works. Uh, I have given you a brief over here. So let's see how it goes. So I hope this will be helpful for you in coming up with your data and showing it to your teammates. Until our next video, keep connected to the channel and remain subscribed so you get to know new and new things. And if you find this video, you know, helpful, please click the like button. And until our next video, take care of yourselves and bye-bye.